Welcome back. I'm going to jump straight to it this time. Not going to sit at the loading screen rambling on with myself at you. However, what I am going to do is save the game immediately so I have a backup just in case something decides to go wrong with this. Okay, we have our thermite for that thing there. Now, we need a shock pad. And real quick, uh, uh, no, I won't actually. I'll keep that for now. I have some stuff that I want to sell from anyone who remembered the previous video. Picked up a few bits and pieces that I haven't sold yet. And there's Pantera Man. Ah, oh, look at that. Still going for it, even after he's dead. Now that's hardcore. For those who still have no idea what I'm going on about, I will actually explain it in this video. Heavy objects that display this symbol. Yes, I know. Like this? Yeah. More time letting me do it, less time telling me about it. Now do you see why I, why I like the line gun so much? Oh yeah! One shot, one kill. Or in this case, two shots, two kills. Line gun is love! Oh yes! Oh, oh he's dying! You alright there, mate? No, I don't think so. Don't think you are! So you know what? Stamp on your head! Hmm. Is he good? Well, sure as hell is now. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh, pulse round. Not that I ever use the pulse rifle, but that's beside the point. Okay. Uh, switch back to my plasma cutter for now. And... Yes. Go in there. In case you're wondering why I'm keeping my weapon out, well, it's dead space. You might have noticed a lot of things are trying to kill me. So, shouldn't be that much of a surprise that I'm keeping the weapon ready to take care of people like this. There's something of a mess now, not because they're not really people. I can fly! Douche, douche, douche. Stand on its face. Stand on its face. Stamp it to death. Right, I think it's dead. You think it's dead? Stamp it once more just to make sure. I'm in a very giddy mood today. Now, for those wondering why that is, Keep on wondering. Oh no, I'm not going to tell you. So no. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Something I keep forgetting about. Is it here? So yeah, there it is. Thought so. Always forget about that. I actually remembered it for once. There we go. There's another little spoiler for you. As I said, if you're really worried about spoilers, though, what are you doing watching all that play? Yeah, anyway, for some reason, you can't bash this one. Oh! Apparently you can't bash that one. You have no idea how many times I've tried to bash that thing and it hasn't worked. And then there's me saying you can't bash it, and you can. Yes, I know. More time letting me move, less time telling me that I'm running out of oxygen, please. Would be useful, considering running out of oxygen makes me die. But you know what, I love this here. See the water leaking out? I love this shot. 
shot, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that may be a painted backdrop, but it's a very, very nice one. And I like the sounds. They've muted them. Oh, some people have complained about that, actually, that you wouldn't be able to hear anything because you're in a vacuum. And that's true. You won't be able to hear things outside because sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. But it's not quite that straightforward. You see, there is vacuum around Isaac. But Isaac himself is super you know, self-contained. You Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero-G area. Like they just did. Anyway. Isaac himself has a space suit which does have um, pressure within it. Which means sounds that he's making, he would actually hear. Because, well, he's making them. And he would hear them muted. Um, I mean, I'm no expert about this because, well, I'm not a scientist. But I like to think I'm moderately knowledgeable about these things. More than... More than a passing degree of knowledge, but not intimate, you know what I mean? No, nope, apparently not. So yes, point is, Isaac would actually be able to... Oh, look, and there's Black Girl. Isaac would actually be able to um, hear certain sounds whilst he's here. Whilst he's out in a vacuum. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Yes, Shit. Hammond. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. I know. Safe, you already told me. I heard you the first time. Yeah, there were a bunch of um, bunch of enemies turn up here, but ah! I'm going to ignore them and move on because you don't actually come back here. It might be a bit of a spoiler for some people, but again, as I keep saying, if you were really worried about spoilers, you wouldn't really be watching the Let's Play now, would you? It's kind of impossible to do this kind of thing without giving spoilers. Anyway, as I was going to say about the whole sound in a vacuum thing. Heal. Um, oh, that's just a sparking light. They've partly done it for stylistic effect because well, it just makes the game more interesting. And in a lot of ways, if you couldn't hear anything at all, it would kind of make the game a little bit too difficult. Exiting so, they're going for a balance between realism and fun. And I think they struck the balance quite nicely. I like the effect. It's a good effect. Hmm. And it makes the game interesting. So, I'm actually... Ah! That's it, I'm going to switch back to my line gun because there's one new one jumping out of me. I don't remember them coming out that early. Hmm. Didn't do me any damage though, didn't get a shot. Top one other chap down here. Chap. Oh, I'm chap. What am I doing? So very English of me. I need a cup of tea, what? Ha 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 ha. And I think. I think that's it. Now then, how many nodes do I have? And for those wondering if, they, if you can't see the quality of it, what Blank Door actually asked me if I was recording, because as some of you know, I've been doing this in time with his No, I can't actually upgrade my capacity yet. I need another node for that. So I won't. In that case, I will simply reload. There's something else I want to show you here as well. Uh, another one of those occasions where I actually want to take damage, just because it works good. I like the way it looks. Pantera Man. Do this? Oh, I'm doing this. Whoa! Though that appears to have not been my brightest idea. Hmm, that actually. I've never had that happen before. Not that much, anyway. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Oof. That was close. Oh, there's a couple more of them. There's a couple more there. I'm actually going to take care of them this time. OK. 
Okay, I'm not going to be cocky in future. Honestly, I've never had that happen before. Not even when I was playing on... Um, uh, um, is it Nightmare or Insane? Whichever the next difficulty level up is called. I can't remember what it's called. But not even, even when I was playing on that. That difficulty setting. I've never had them just jump on me and kill me like that. I mean, I've died before. But, um... Not so quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be brave. Is it brave? Or is it cocky? Or is it a bit of both? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make myself explode. Yeah. That's clever, isn't it? <sighs> okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These I, um... wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Let's go with Get up to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every corner. Mail, though, not that was Nicole, mail. right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I hate these things. So ruddy small. Hey! Right, there's a different one. How many of them are there? Oh my god, there's a little shot thing. Can't hold up one of them. Ow. I don't know when I have to heal again soon. It's time for some more epilepsy. Oh, today I will misspell the word fish. I will spell it F A seven twelve. Yes, that sounds like a decent epilepsy fit. For those who uh, are joining me early, late, early, late, I don't know, whatever it is. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, in a previous video I mentioned that the flashing lights would give people epilepsy. When what I meant was epilepsy. So I decided, rather than shrugging it off and acting like it hadn't happened, I would acknowledge the fact that I made a, a mistake. And the irony being that that's quite a dyslexic thing to do. So you see, epilepsy is a combination of epilepsy and dyslexia. So where instead of thrashing around on the floor having a fit, you sporadically misspell words. As I just did. But because the only health pack I have at the moment is uh, a full heal, and I have not yet upgraded my health, I will not be increasing, I will not be using it, I will instead move on with it, because there's another node room there which should have some health in it, so I'll use that instead. Or I'll die. That works too. <sighs> Getting a little bit too big for my britches here, aren't I? <sighs> Come on, Kiwi, you can do better than this. In case you're wondering, Kiwi is a family nickname. Big Koo, Little Koo. You have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but it's a family nickname, that's what you know. Come on, you. Thank you. And you, I know you are not actually dead yet. There you go. Right. Okay. See, there's another node room here. I know you'll be watching this at some point blank, so let me assure you that this one is much more worth your time. See? 
This is why I say to go into these rooms. Plenty of ammunition. Now the question is, should I push on or should I do the sensible thing, go back and get some help? What do you think? Whoa! Oh, it is on now. Don't you even think about trying to sneak up and dismember me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely carrying on now. You just affronted my manhood. You challenged me. Challenge accepted. Oh, yeah. Haters gonna hate. Word. Haters are gonna hate words. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happened. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come to me. I hear you scratching at the wall. Hello? Pretty Are you a doctor? Why is everyone... I'm apparently... Whoa! Your parents are just up in the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! See? I'm making up for my ineptitude by being sheer awesome. One man Isaac King machine. Yeah, I don't ask. I have no idea what that means, but I said it anyway. I should probably make some effort to, you know, kind of explain what the hell I'm going on about, but mm, too much like common sense. Come on, give me some health, damn it. No, I don't want more ammunition. I have plenty already. <sighs> There's me saying that you might sometimes run out of ammo and there's all this bloody giving me. Giving? I really am on a major um, epilepsy spree today, aren't I? By the way, that um, audio log that I just received. Hey, you. <laughs> that audio log I was just listening to. I'm pretty sure that's one of the characters you run into and even play as in Extraction. Hey, look, I'm going to break the <laughs> system here. Watch this. She's just turned around to look at me. As though I was standing over here. They intend for you to stand here and watch while she does that. And I broke the game. I broke it. I defied the orders of the ordering people. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kai reporting. Kine. Well, like the colony's time. problems it's concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. Don't move. But the exact Don't nature move. of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Zombie. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. All of that that was being spoken about there is actually, um, is actually covered in the, um, the animated comics. I don't know if anybody's seen them. If you haven't, I strongly recommend you go and watch them. They are really good. And it adds so much context to the things that are going on in the game. And I just died again. Didn't set my trap in time. Oh well. For some reason I remember... I remember it um, bashing at the door more than once. Bashing at the window even. Yeah. Oh. oh well. Now we know. A knowing is half the battle. Come on. There we go. Ah! No, he got me again. Beginning to think. Do you think maybe I should heal? Maybe. 
This is what you get for being cocky, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, never mind. On my own head, be it. I will do it the old fashioned way. Come on, I'm having you this time. Fire one up there. Fire one down there. And then fire another one just for good measure. Oh, the. Fine, I'll do it the old fashioned way. Shoot you. The cat's in the other one. Did anybody say Crimson Head? Right. Now that one we can deal with. Oh, look. Fine, out loud. Letting those things make some more, see, because after they do, finally, after they do, they drop some, um, drop some, uh, items and things, so. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Sorry about my ineptitude on this one. In future, I will... Yes. In the future, I won't be quite so cocky. Consider this my lesson learned. Right, now this text log, I'm actually going to leave it open because my dear friend, Mr. Blank, is having problems reading this one with his rig, so we scroll through it just so he can read it if he wants to. Hope you appreciate that mate. Uh, no need to thank me, just the least I can do. Now one thing you should be thankful for is that I'm not going to die anymore because this level is almost over. So you can wipe that smirk off your face at how useless I am. Recognize this place? Yes, we were here just a moment ago. Yeah, so you can uh, See me get my come up and oh, press one button again. Perfect. Now what? Way? Press button. Stop flying. Stop it. Not fair. Not allowed to fly. I can't fly. Neither can you. There we go. Now look at this. Now that the <sighs> cheeky swine, bloody hell! I had almost no health at all. Oh wait, no, I didn't use it before, did I? Use it. Isaac! Single. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Um. Mm. No, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be cocky this time. I'm just going to move on with the game. Uh, first of all, though, I remember one of these has something... Nope, not this one, obviously. Right. My apologies for messing up so many times. My apologies for being such a... Uh, such a douche. So honestly, I was. I was a bit of a douche this time. Bit too big for me britches. But at least I'm not too humble to admit it. Or perhaps I'm humble enough to admit it. Anyway, chapter over. I shall say ta-ta. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's only a man bashing his head against the wall. It's probably listening to some Pantera or something. Rocking out hardcore.
You're alright, buddy. You don't have to. Oh. Oh, that's gruesome. 